the crab ride is not the hardest part, okay? But transitioning from crab ride to the turn, we get lost a little bit. One, because this guy's fighting, okay? So we're worried about him getting hip separation. Again, what's my biggest enemy as the top guy? Space. Okay, see how he's already tried to scoot away a little bit? If he scoots away and I don't make that space back up, I'm in big trouble. So that's why we gotta stay tight the whole time. So we worked on a couple skills drills. Okay, we worked on scooping his hips, getting my heels in the mat, scooping his hips and stretching them out. Okay, but once I scoop and get his hips, I immediately gotta start dumping to one side or the other. Okay, he's not gonna let me stay here very long. Plus, if he knows a back trap and I'm just hanging out right here, and he starts hunting for my head, it's gonna be a rough day for me. All right, so again, crab ride is a transitional position. All right, I can't just get here and hang out. I mean, even David Taylor was so good here and he had nerves to steal. All right, but at some point, you gotta dump them and turn them or catch a wrist or do something. All right, so we worked on our scoop and then we also did our no hand leg control drill, right? Just getting them to both sides, so I'm, I'm, I'm appreciating how much I need to pinch with my knees. Now, I want you to think about high hand side kicking. I always try to go to my left side, so I always kick with my right foot and attack with my right hand being the high hand. Always going from shoulder, slipping down to the elbow. So anytime I scoop, we're just gonna start neutral here, all right, because I haven't picked the side yet. If I'm here, he knows what side I'm going to. And sometimes we will get to our claw ride right here. He'll know. He's still got to stop. And then scoop, and then dump him off, and then slide down to the elbow. All right, but for now, we're going to start neutral. We're going to dig and scoop, then pick your side. Dig and scoop, and then pick your side. Control here. Notice my knee is still under his hip, and then I'm sliding to the elbow. This wrist will always be here. It can't go anywhere else. All right? It'll always be trapped right here by his ribs. And then just stretch right here. Okay, this is an easy recovery back on top. Now I got a wrist. Now I can get my wrist tilt. Or I can pull it back, scoop a bar. I can throw my legs in. I got tons of options here. All right? So we're starting on our butt. Okay? We're focusing on being neutral. Scoop right here. His hips are on top of mine. He goes where I go. Then I'm going to kick. Bottom toe traps. Knees are pinched. My bottom knee is still under his hip, then I slide to the elbow. This wrist will be here every time. You capture it as soon as he hits his hip. If you need to scoot away a little bit, that's plenty of, plenty of room right there for me to get my near fall. All right? Any questions? What's up? What well, do you got to put some bass in your boy? Speak up, dude. My ankle's on his ankle. I'm splitting the shins, so when I dig right here, it, as I move them, I'm staying, I'm staying glued to them. So if I go to this side, I'm staying glued to them. Yep, trap the bottom foot. Trap that bottom foot. Now some guys will teach crab right here. There's nothing wrong with that. And I feel like he can post my knee with his bottom hand and hop out, okay? When I trap his foot, when I trap his scoop, trap his foot right here, and bend down to his elbow, there's not really a need for him to fight off, okay? And especially if I got his bottom wrist right here, he ain't fighting anything off, okay? Go!